All right, guys, in the last session, we talked about how for you guys to get started with Express Hendable, right? But there is something that's a little bit we've done. As you guys can see, this is being done over and over. And if we head over to the order files, this is being done over and over. Well, there is a better way for you guys to write this with Express Hendable itself. And this is called default layout, where you can have a default layout of how your page is going to, like, what are the things that every single element or template is going to inherit from. Anyway, long story short, within this function itself, we're going to set up what they call an object. And within this object, we're going to use a default property called default layout. And default layout itself, we, which takes a file's name. Now, you can give these files whatever it is, but it match, it needs to match your layout files. All right, so once you have this uh, key involved, Express Enable itself is going to expect you to have a folder inside the view folder named layout like this is critical and the name matters because that's what express handable is expecting for you to have and within this folder which called layout is expecting you to have a file called express handlebars and be mindful that this file itself needs to match whatever you have in your default uh, layout here so we have main it needs to match it as well and within your main.js which is going to be your default layout we need to have triple curly bracket and within this curly bracket triple curly bracket we add something called body itself now don't worry about this what i really want you guys to be mindful is all of this is going to be inherited by any other template that's using it and now the template itself is going to be injected over here so what i'm saying is if the template had something like hello world something like that well this hello world will now or for example this hello world whatever it is will be injected in the place of the bad itself so that's what's going to happen all right so we got our default layout of how things are going to do now we can go ahead over our about files and we're going to go ahead and we remove these now because our layout already have them cool have something like that and we can do the same for the index.js as well. We move every single thing from here that we don't need to have it repeated. And there we go. We just have the HTML element itself. Save this and let's try to run it and see what happened. I run it, my server is starting. And ladies and gentlemen, we still have the same thing. If I go over, if I go over uh, slash about, I should still be seeing the same thing. And there you go. I still have the same thing. Correct. Now, there's something else. Let's say, remember, with Handlebar, you need to have the files of the folder name called Layouts. What if you didn't want your layout, aka whatever it is, to have the name of Layouts? Well, you can change this by adding an extra key here called Layout there. And this is how you can change the name of whatever it layout folder is so we what we need to do here once we have it like that we need to give it the path of where this folder is located so it's located inside the view uh, the, the views folder here so we're gonna go views and then the new name that we want it to be for example now of course it's layout or well, we're gonna give it the name the new name that we want it to be for example if we change this one to be uh, test right this is the new name of our layout folder so we need to refer to it as view slash test and now ladies and gentlemen this is going to be how we kind of reach out to, to 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 our default layout if we try to run this and let's see what happened refresh this page again as you guys can see I still have the same thing and there you go my home page is still working now I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple things here I'm gonna just nest this one out just put it to the new lines and the whole reason just to kind of show you guys a couple of things now for window you might have an issue with how related path is being referred here so one way we can fix that is by having the path module we don't need to install this this is built into node and we have the path module here what we're going to do is we're going to say all right bring that path and then we're going to do join do the dir name which is the current directory and then now we refer to it as this right now like this so this is gonna make sure that you know it's also compatible for Windows user as well and let's try to run this and let's see if it still work if it didn't break anything no nope, of course it still work and let's try to go to about 
and it still worked as expected. Uh, and there's one last thing that I'd like to uh, for you guys to check out. There is something that going on here. Every time that I want to do some changing, I have to stop my server and then do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and install something called Nodemon. NPM, I'm going to install it globally inside my Nodemon. Not inside my Nodemon, sorry, inside my local computer. So I'm going to copy this command and run inside my computer here. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, go ahead and do it, guys. So it's going to take a second and what this allow me what this is going to do for me is it's going to allow me to just run this command and just keep uh, things all to sync i might need to do sudo run it now sudo pass give it a password cool so node morning is installed but there's something else that's a little bit weird if i run when i know when i run node more now of course it's going to work and keep watches if i do some changes it will instantly be reflected for example if i go over about and do like uh, you know sterling something kind of put it my name cool and you uh, save it and now if i go back to about refresh this page as you see it's instantly being added without me starting the server cool but there's something else that's being interesting here that's an issue right well if you look at this you see where it said document over here and when i go to when i go to to hello world they still saying document and document which is makes sense because it's being inherited from here and if i change this to something like you know home page which is great refresh it it's now been home page but when i go to about as well it's still saying home page what if i wanted this to be dynamic based on different routes that i am for it to be dynamic for example if i'm on the home page for it to be home page and then if i'm on the about page for it to be the about page well in the next video we're going to be learning about how to send dynamic data from your express server to your handlebar file